Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to insert a new table in Word. Now, there's actually a lot of different ways that this can be done. But uh, in this video, let me show you two most common methods of inserting a new table. Alright, so first we will need to click on the Insert tab. Click on Table. And in the first example, we are going to use the Insert Table Grid Line. So all you need to do is to hover your mouse on the grid line, depending on how many columns or, and how many rows that you want. Hover your mouse until you get to the desired position. For example, this is a 4x5 table. Now if you want to add another column, then just move your mouse to the right and it becomes a 5x5 table. Okay, once you are happy with the table, then just click on the mouse and the table is inserted. Okay, so this works well when you want to insert a simple, not very complicated table and all the columns and all the rows are of equal height. Now another method, and this could be more appropriate for complex table, is to use the insert table dialog box. So you go to insert, go to table, and instead of using the table grid line, just move down until you see the insert table and then click on that. And here you can manually insert the number of columns and the number of rows that you want your table to be. So this works well. You know that you will need to insert a big table, for example, a table that has uh, five columns and 50 rows. Now, in the auto fit behavior, the, the default is that it will fix column width. Now, this is the most common scenario. And then for the second one is auto fit to contain. Auto fit to contain means that Word will automatically fit the table column to fit to your content. And this works well when you have a table that is similar to the first table here. For example, the first column has a lot of space but very little text, whereas the second column has not enough space but a lot of text. So you want Word to automatically manage it so that the first column could get less space and then the second column would get more space. Okay. Now, in the third example, the auto fit to window. Window here means the page border. So this could work well for the second example, where you have a table that is spreading beyond the border of the page and you want all the rows to be compressed to be fit nicely within the page margin. Okay, okay. So let's uh, select a uh, fixed column width for now and click OK. And our job is done. Now that the table has been inserted, you can go ahead and add all the content that you want to the table. And that's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.